This video is intended to show you the use of T-scan digital occlusal analysis in orthotic practice. I have been using it for already seven years and I have developed a sample uh, diagnostic orthodontic procedure uh, with the use of T-scan, which consists of five main recordings, which are centric occlusal recording, multi-bite, protrusive movement, and both lateral protrusive movements. So it's essential to train the patient prior to making any recording. So the first step we're gonna take is to make our patient do the same thing as, as we're gonna have uh, with a sensor in her mouth. So we're gonna try to make a protrusive movement and to train the patient to perform this movement without a sensor in her mouth. So the, uh, the first thing uh, sh we are asking her is to uh, keep her teeth tightened and then hold them for one, two seconds and then make a slide movement forward with her lower jaw. Uh, having a feeling of touching her lower, uh, her upper teeth with her lower incisal edges. So she has to do this uh, thing, uh, this movement promptly and fast. Uh, and at the same time, she has to feel the contact during every moment of her movement. Uh, that's what she's doing. This is a close-up view and she has to keep her teeth tightened one, two seconds, then she moves her teeth forward. She feels the edge to edge position and then she goes back, she uh, returns to her uh, primary position, uh, whether it's a uh, intercuspal position or centric occlusal or centric occlusion or habitual occlusion or whatever she has. Uh, so um, the next thing, we're asking her to do the same movement without our help and without sensor in her mouth. So she has to uh, touch with her lower jaw uh, to, to tighten the teeth, keep them one, two seconds and go forward and slide forward very promptly. And she has to keep this edge to edge position until the recording is, is complete. So now we're going to initiate uh, the recording with a sensor, with a handle. And so where I have to push the red button on the handle and I'm going to adjust this handle uh, against her upper teeth and then to and then ask her to tighten her teeth and to bite on a sensor and make her protrusive movement. So uh, what I'm doing, I am placing the handle and with the sensor in her mouth. Uh, the teeth has have to fit uh, the their marks uh, which are already on the sensor. Then I ask her to uh, to keep her teeth tightened and then she is going to make her protrusive movement. Now we see her protrusive movement with her incisors touching edged in an edged edge position. Then I'm taking the handle out and I'm uh, finishing the recording by pushing the button and making uh, it uh, complete. So uh, what we're having here on the screen, we're having a diagram at the bottom with the, an AB interval which depicts the occlusion time, the BC interval which actually corresponds to the intercuspal position, the maximum intercuspation, and the CD interval which is the disclusion time, so the time which was used to make her a uh, protrusive movement. Uh, we have a one more option, uh, a time icon. By clicking on that button, we actually initiate a timing table. Uh, this time corresponds to the CD interval, which is actually the disclusion time of her protrusive movement. So as a conclusion, we're going to have a recording with AB interval, BC interval, and CD.